Welcome to Orient Update. My name's Jenny. You may have heard that Meyer is opening a new concept store on Lapeer Road. Well, I'm super excited because we're going to go inside and take an in-depth look at the new store. All right, I'm with Mary, the store director of Meyer. Mary, welcome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the store and what makes it different from other Meyers in the area? Yeah, well, Meyer Grocery is about a 90,000 square foot building, and we're, we really want to make sure that, that we gave the neighborhood exactly what it needed, which was a grocery store, where you can get in and out quick, again, about 90,000 square feet. So um, not only do we have food and we have fresh, we also have a full pet department. We have baby necessities and we have our uh, entire HBC area along with uh, pharmacy and a drive through Wonderful. Now, I've also noticed as we've been going through the store some local offerings as well. Can you tell us a little bit about what local vendors you have here? Yeah, we have quite a few local vendors. Um, the ones in an end cap right behind you there um, is Cook's Dairy Farm. Um, we have Sprout Bake and Buddy's Pizza. But again, we have many that I'm so excited for everybody to come in and check out. Now, Mary, um, how long have you guys been working on construction here and getting this building up and running? Actually, we broke ground in January of 2022. What's your favorite thing about the store? I would have to say our incredible team that we built. Um, I'm really excited uh, to be a neighbor in the community. I'm so excited for everybody to meet our fabulous team. Well, I'm as excited, I think, as everybody else in the community is for this to open up. So you guys open up when? Remind me again. Thursday, January 26th, 6 a.m. I'll be here, so come see me. All right, sounds good. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. All right, now I'm with Elena Campbell from Sprout Bake. Elena, tell us a little bit about what you're offering in the store here. So we are so excited to offer our Sprout Bake product um, in Meyer. This is our first major retail um, that we've gotten our product into. So Sprout Bake is a frozen batter that's gluten-free, dairy-free, and nutrient-dense. That's what makes us different. It's not just gluten-free and dairy-free, but it's also packed with nutrition. So there's either sweet potato puree, butternut squash, or pumpkin, depending on the flavor that you choose. And the awesome thing about our product is it's so quick and easy for the customer. You just thaw it, scoop it, bake it, and you've got fresh muffins, or you can make them as cupcakes, or quick breads, or coffee cake, whatever form you want. Um, and then you can also customize it by stirring in nuts or dry cherries or fresh blueberries, you know, whatever you want. We are so appreciative of Meyer. You know, their commitment to supporting local food producers is phenomenal. And I have to give a huge shout out to Mary Kimbrough, who's the store director here. She personally selected my product from a pitch that we were able to do uh, back in last February. Um, and she knew we were here in Lake Orion. She tasted our product. She loved it. And so I'm just very appreciative that she gave us this opportunity to have our product here. And it means a ton to us as a small business that's a startup you know trying to get our product out there it's difficult you know it's a big world with all of the big names that are out there um, so to have this opportunity means a lot and Meyer really has a commitment um, to local food producers and local fresh food and healthy food now I think one of the most important things you forgot to mention is how good they are these are literally one of my favorite muffins I can't resist them if you didn't know I probably already ate four of them Thank you. I'm so glad. And that was the goal. My kids were the taste testers. I made a lot of, I came up with a lot of creations that I liked 
that were healthy, but that they didn't like. And if they didn't like it, it was back to the drawing board. So, well, you made a really good uh, recipe there. So we love it. All right, thanks, Elena. All right, now I'm here with Mike. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what you do and what product you're bringing to our new local Meyer? Yes, uh, I'm the Vice President of Retail Sales at Carmela Foods. We've been in business in Michigan for over 30 years. We specialize in um, specialty food products, specialty wines, and we specialize in local items from Michigan. We have, um, um, a Michigan book which we have added to and added to and in another two weeks there's probably going to be 40 more Michigan items in here. Uh, these are all small peep manufacturers and um, very passionate about what they do and very clean ingredients in the Michigan products that we serve and we're doing quite well with it and we're doing quite well at Meyer with it. We are in the small format gourmet markets, and we sell them dozens of Michigan items, other items as well, but predominantly Michigan. And now we are breaking ground into this concept. So we're very, very excited, very proud to be a part of it, and looking forward to a, a good future. All right, now what specific products are you gonna have in the store? Well, it's hard to say right now. We're still working on that. Right now, we've got some Michigan jams um, that we have in the store, and we have Buddy's Pizza. And um, this has just been amazing for us. Um, there's a pepperoni, which is coming back into the market in March or April, which is just absolutely incredible. We had that at the other Meyer small format stores, it did very well. We had to pull it off the market for a while because of production issues and things like that, but that's all getting taken care of. There's a new production facility, and again, that should be out in March or April, so we're very, very excited about that. So through this process, just having these two items to start may not sound like a lot, but it's very exciting to us because we can get the ball rolling. So I anticipate that we will have dozens of Michigan items in these two new stores very soon. And this pizza is just wonderful. So it's frozen, you just take it home, make it, and that's it, it's just like having buddies that's at it. home. I, I promise you, when you take this home and cook it, you will not know the difference between this and going to buddies. It's just that close. So, and you know, people love, um, people love to be able to take it home. You know, one bit of advice I'll give everybody out there, when you do take it home, use a cookie sheet or a baking pan underneath it because the cheese will drip down into the oven. So you're gonna to wanna to use something underneath it. Well, that's a very helpful tip. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, my pleasure, thank you. So even though the focus is groceries here, you can still get so many other items that you need on a weekly basis, like your um, pet items, your health and beauty, pharmacy, cards, and so much more. All right, I'm with State Representative Donnie Steele. Donnie, let me get your thoughts on the new Meyer after just touring it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and go to my little history lesson, but when Kmart and Farmer Jack used to be on this corner, we were so excited because we didn't have to go to Pontiac to do our grocery shopping and go to Kmart in Pontiac, we could do it right here. And to see 50 years later to have this fantastic corner be redeveloped says really a lot about the 
viability of Orion Township. So I am just so excited to see Meyer, who is a great community advocate, land here and redevelop this corner too for the next 50 years. So they're great partners and I love all the local products that they have on the shelves and they're gonna be a great community advocate for Orion. All right, what's, just with walking through, what's your favorite part of the store so far? <laughs> the pizza samples and, you know, the cookies and cream samples and because I didn't eat breakfast on the way here. So this is so far that. Plus, I, like I said, the, the Michigan products and Andrew from Meyer was saying that they're, um, they have a lot of them, uh, probably more so in this store, and they plan on bringing even more Michigan products because they have a big calling from people within the community they want to be on the shelves locally. All right, thank you so much for joining me and for representing Orion. Thanks, Jenny, I appreciate it. Thank you for joining me on this episode and a huge thank you to Meyer for giving us this sneak peek tour. As a reminder, Meyer opens on Thursday, January 26th at 6 a.m. Hope to see you there and I'll catch you next time on another episode of Orient Update.